Hello every people and welcome back. Well, there's been some huge news, if people want to take it in mind. We've got the Bournemouth duo what could join Newcastle. Firstly, Lloyd Kelly is someone who is very versatile, but is it really who we're looking for? Yes, it'll be a superb player to bring in. Experience under Eddie Howe. Um, I just we haven't seen much of him, and is he going to play over Fabian Shaw and Sven Botman? Probably not. He is a 25-year-old who could personally could be like up there for being a good centre back at um, Newcastle and play that St James Park. But is it the right signing to make? I just don't think it is. Yes, Bournemouth's been doing decent this season, but. We're trying to hit Champions League football or European football. And is Lloyd Kelly going to take us to that position? No, not at all. And with Philip Billing, oh, he had a hell of a last season and this season he's been okay. Yes, he has played. Has he played? In, I don't, I'm not sure if he's played under Eddie Howe, but it's more type of Eddie Howe because he's played for Bournemouth and Eddie Howe's my Bournemouth, my East Bay Bournemouth manager. Just... I just don't know with Philip Billing because, yes, on his day he could be really good and he could help with rotational players, but when Sandro Tonali comes back, Bruno, and then you have Joe Linton, and then you've got Willick, who's honestly one of my favourite players. Is he getting in that squad? No, he's not. He'd be more rotational player. It'd be like, if you have, like, for example, like Lewis Miley, like he's fit into the season because of the injuries. But is Lewis Miley going to be that starting centre midfielder for the next two years? Maybe in the next five years he could be because he's got high potential, but it's just really not what we're looking for, right? And if any of you have got anything to say, just put it down in the comments. Like It would be huge. You appreciate it. I'll like every comment and I'll reply. And we've got a goal set for 50 subscribers because that would just be huge it would be a good start i could get start me live streams because i wanted to start me live streams because it would be good because when it's a match day and yes i won't be able to go to the match but i could live stream it and we could watch the match together if people are interested obviously there's bigger newcastle youtubers who you probably want to watch but i'm trying to give this a go and i want to do well in youtube and it's just going to be a slow process to start off with, but I'm trying to make it. And, yeah, just, it's just random news what's came out about Philip Billing and Lloyd Kelly. Like, is Newcastle United really looking for them type of players? Or is people just being like, oh, anyhow, Bournemouth, let's just choose two players what might be able to fit in the Newcastle system. And that's pretty much, but to like Craig Hopes, um, came out and says that Lloyd Kelly's on a free transfer and Philip Billing could be another option to take. But I wouldn't do that. Like, we've got to pay for Joe Linton's contract, which I don't think will get more than maybe 10 to 15 million, 20 million a year. But I'd keep him. We need to keep our crucial players. Like, Joe Linton's just a bulldog and you can't get you can't take that of him. But I tell you, what, if, if you get rid of Joe Linton, he can't. He can't do as good as new uh, what he's done for Newcastle than he is going to do at other team because he's really fitted into Newcastle and he likes to play. And he wouldn't just snap like that and be one of the best midfielders in the world, would he? Or even like what he is at Newcastle. But we just got to take into mind with the news. Like you can't accept the fact that we're trying to look for Philip Billing and Lloyd Kelly. But if we want to hit the best of what we could possibly be. We've got Adidas coming through. Oh, the money we might make off that is just like huge. And then obviously with the kits look absolute beautiful. Maybe some recommendations coming around with that. Um, we should be looking at the calibers of like, like average good players or young upcoming players what we might look for. Like with our Isaacs, our Botmans, our Brunos, our Tonali, technically. Like these players are just 
middle and then you'd be like wow these players are amazing but you know like you can't change away from how the seasons went and on paper you'd be like yeah that team they ain't gonna do good and I feel like we've done really good this season yet last season was unbeatable at the moment but this season actually has been a good season it's we played too many games and we don't have the squad for that so obviously injuries hit we'll be PSG for them drew one more PSG we should have beat that game but Dream on love AC Milan but the other games we're just we're just not ready for it yet but if our goal for the season is just European football maybe some conference league or rugby league it'll be honestly just perfect I just don't know what to say I just just Newcastle YouTubers are honestly huge inspiration to me because I want to do what they can do it's not just all about the money I just want to make a status for myself and do things what I want to enjoy and yes it's going to be a long way but that's when you start and you've got to choose to stick to that and me trying to make a video every day is going to be hard because you can't just expect oh I'm going to get loads of followers loads of views no it's going to be slow steps like you just got to do what you've got to do really make a video make sure people actually enjoy your content or so-called content but what I'm trying to do look for the future is I try to see if I could set it up but I just can't because I've just got to do it on my phone because I've got a PS4 and that's pretty much it I don't have like a PC or anything I wanted to start like live streaming on Twitch as well but I wanted to live stream me playing like FIFA some Rocket League or something like that just but it's not FIFA EA, but you know what I'm on about. And like just some vlogs, which would be good. I might visit the stadium, maybe go some matches. I just, and l my live streams I just want to do on a match day. We'll do match previews and everything. Just to see how good it can actually be. And obviously, I'm just in love with the YouTube scene. And I just want to get part of it. And that's what I'm trying to do. But just make sure you come down below and tell me what you think of Lloyd Kelly and Philip Billing to the tune. And just, if you can, just show some support in this video. If you want to hit the subscribe button, go ahead. If you want to like, go ahead. If you want, to, if you just want to leave like a comment, just be like, oh, I hope it goes well or anything, I'd be hugely appreciated. But you can't really choose what happens. You've just got to see what happens if people actually like what you're doing. And I'm huge, hugely, hugely appreciated if anyone does anything. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope anyone likes it. If you do, you know what to do. Right, see you later.